In this video, I will show you how to create this text animation, this particle effect, this 3D tracking, and finally, this text reveal. But before we get into it, let me show you my new workspace. This is the new E7 Pro Plus Standing Desk from Flexispot. I've been trying it out for the last few weeks, and I have to say that it's a game changer. Two big boxes came, one with the frame and the other one with the tabletop. Putting it all together was simple and took less than an hour. The table has a nice wood finish, which you can change if you like in Flexispot's webpage, as well as the frame. They also sent me a cable management tray, which is great for keeping my desk neat and free from messy cables. This desk can move from 23 inches up to 48. You can see the actual height in the LED screen and change it manually with these two arrows. Or set your own presets with these other four buttons. It also has a handy charging port on the right side of the control panel. One of the best features of this desk is that it's really steady, and this lets you be more focused. So if you want to upgrade your workstation too, don't forget to use my code for a small discount. You can find it in the description below. Let's start with the tutorial. First, we are going to recreate this animation. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Now add your text, and I'll be using a script called Text Exploder to extract the characters from the word into separate layers so we can animate them individually. Choose Split into Characters, select the layer, and hit Apply. Now we have separate layers for each letter. Select the first one and apply a transform effect. Hit Option click on the stopwatch of the opacity property and type this wiggle expression here. This will make the letter blink with random values of its opacity. Copy the transform effect and paste it into the other characters. Now select all layers, hit T on your keyboard, and then click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Animate the opacity from 0 to 100 to create a fade in, and also add a fade out. Next, select all the layers and press Command D to duplicate them. Go to the character panel and click on the switch arrow here to create outlines of our text. You can change the stroke size here. Let's press U to see all the animated keyframes, and we can now move the layers so the outlines appear first and the filled characters after. Now we can take the first text layer we created, move it to the top, and animate the opacity so the text will be fully white in the middle of the animation. To make the animation more interesting, we can randomize the order of the layers using this free script called Layer Random Shifter. Simply type the minimum and maximum values and press this button to randomize their order. Now you can pre-compose this by selecting all the layers and going to Layer Pre-Compose. Let's put this text into a video. Go to the Tracker panel and hit Track Camera. I always like to go to this advanced menu and click Detailed Analysis for better results. Once it finishes, select a point, right-click and choose Create Null and Camera. Take the text layer and make it 3D by clicking here, then select the Null object, hit P on your keyboard, click the Position property, hit Command C to copy the value, select the text layer and press Command V to paste it. Then simply adjust the scale, position and rotation in the viewport as you like. And that's how you do it. Let's move on to the next one. I'll use this video to add 3D text to it. So first, let's 3D track it following the same steps as before. 
Then select a point in the 3D tracked layer and choose Create Text and Camera. Hit S on your keyboard to see the scale property and change it as you like. Then place the text in the 3D space where you want. Now let's create another text layer by duplicating this one. Hit Command D and move the new layer from the viewport. You can animate the opacity value of the first word to zero when the second word appears, so we can read it much better. And don't forget to enable motion blur on both layers. You can also add images, videos or anything you want in this 3D space by simply making the layer 3D, copying the position and scale of one of your 3D texts and pasting it into your new layer. In this case, you can also copy the rotation by pressing R to see the rotation property. The next effect is this text reveal. You just need to go here under track mat and click and drag the spiral icon from the video to the text. Then duplicate the video layer and in the bottom one remove the mat from this drop down menu. Now if we move the upper video layer, the text will appear. So let's animate the position of this video and then add an exposure effect to make the text brighter. You can also add a tint effect Change these two colors to white and animate the amount value from 0 to 100. The cool part is that you can now change the main text layer and the effect will update with the new text. And finally we will create this floating particle effect. We'll start by tracking the video again. Select a point and create a null and a camera. Now hit command Y to create a new solid and add the effect particle word. Go to producer and increase the value of its radius. Then go to particle and change the particle type to faded sphere Increase the size and change the color to your liking. Then go to physics and change the velocity and gravity to zero. You can also change the blend mode to screen and add a glow effect. For this clip, I duplicated the video layer, made it black and white, and I used it as an alpha channel. And that's all for this video. See you in the next one!